over here. Thought we'd um, drill some holes today. And, um, the idea is to take some standard block of wood and then some and a piece of plywood. And then, yeah, to use different types of park side drills to see what kind of holes we make. There are also a couple of more specialized um, bits that I have here. That, we, that are not um, strictly speaking drill bits, but uh, yeah, we'll take one at a time and see what kind of yeah, what kind of holes we can create. So here's the first drill set we're gonna have a look at. And, um, actually, this is the most normal drill set one happens to have lying around, which is for um, steel, but um, used very often also to drill wood. So I thought we'd um, give this one a try. See what kind of hole we can, holes we can create. Oh, let's um, see if we can't make a nice hole here. on the other side. Not that bad. Oh, now we're going to try some plywood. So, let's have a look through the hole we made. And I actually gave it a uh, one chance extra also, just before I started filming. So I wanted to see what kind of a back break and you know, it's the same it can't really make it any neater than that so that was a little clean up so let's look at the next set of drills so this is actually says will wood drill a bit set and it has this special feature that I hope you can see that it's got this Different, totally different end cut. So let's see how this works. Oh, let's make a hole in this wood. slid it there. I don't know. Didn't turn like that clean at the end. So let's try it in plywood then. These two were the standard. Still a lot of splitter. Oh, here comes the next set. Uh, Forstner bit set. Okay. 
Okay. It does not seem to be cutting that well. Going too fast. Making a hole, but it's a lot of work. That's for sure. Sounded awful on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not the neatest for making through cuts. But heats up the drill a lot. It's uh, actually a lot of hard work to go through, creates a lot of sawdust. But it can make a big hole. So, so anyway, next we. Uh, oh, let's try the. It works in plywood. Uh, no. <laughs> Not this one without back support, that's for <laughs> oh, that tore that one a bit. So, okay. Hmm, I don't know what to say about that one. Oh, next set is this um, flatwood um, drill bit set. So, get it open. Oh, let's um, give this a try then. Ah, I don't know, it was already split, so it'd be hard to say, but I think that finish is not that bad. The way it cut through on this side of this. Oh, let's see what it does in plywood then.
rip the guy. Rip that up. Hmm. Should have some backing, obviously, one wants to comply with them. I'll set them on top of another piece of wood. Clamp it down and then drill through both. Well, now we get into more, a little bit more special drills. So this is a countersinking set. So. We'll test this one here and see how it will work. So, cleaned up a little bit too. So now we're going to try this one here. Huh? Probably, maybe should be pre-drilled or start the, because this can be adjusted. So maybe it needs to be a little bit closer. <laughs> Definitely not completely understanding how this should work. I think it needs to be pre-drilled. I'll try to show the hole. So now you see that it's sunk. It's sunk in there. But uh, definitely, um, I will take pre-drilling and or this, these um, depth adjusters need to be closer down there. So. So the idea is that you don't drill with these. With the end, I don't think you're supposed to drill with this end, but. Can adjust it so I can move that down to, yeah, to like there, for example. And then if I'm a pre drilled hole, or even if this is one just doing the central hole, um, then you can start from there. So this doesn't have to go so deep, <laughs> gets pretty hot. So, anyway, the next set is this one here it's for creating um, plugs and dolls, cutter bit, um, not strictly speaking, a drill as such. I actually don't, you should have a plank or something that's for appropriate thickness to, to be able to use this. So um, I'm going to try and demo it with this, this bit, but of course this is too thick, it should be like a plank. Half this, so then you can actually get the bits out. So, but we'll see, um, take one of these and have a look at what it creates. Oh, that's an interesting form. Give it a whirl. Okay, is this going to start wandering all over the place then? There's no... Or this is supposed to be used in a, in a drill press. So actually not with a hand drill. Uh, a bit skeptical if I can even get this started. Uh, you would uh, oh, kind of the feeling that this is um, this tool is drill press material or a uh, drill press tool predominantly. I don't think the one's going to have much fun trying to... I mean, you can see it started. So if one had patience and time, I'm probably a, a, mains, a mains drill, not a battery-driven drill. If I had a drill press, I could run it on a slower speed. I wouldn't get it so high. 
heat up. Hmm. No, I'm going to recommend condemn these as drill press um, tools. I think that's just not, not very logical to. Um, as you can see, it's already making the plug dull. And then, of course, if you had a plank, then you would just like drill it right through, cut it right through, and then you get these bits separate. And of course, this is not a very good example. And there's no point in making out of plywood. I don't think you'd make dowels or plugs out of plywoods. Oh, the last one here is milling bits. And um, also, probably something one would use on a predominantly on a drill press. Or a proper vertical mill. But not very many people have such things. Yeah, so you can see that that's the way you should set it up on. It's already showing that it should be a drill press. I would think I'm going to just demonstrate. Um, so here's here's like a drill drill end. So you drill in to get started on the wood, and, and this is to like cut out. Uh, pieces of four pieces of wood and then it has the actual milling part so if this was a drill press then you'd have that of course vertically like that but anyway let's um i just thought i'd demonstrate because if you need to like cut out a, a slot here let's see how that would work it's even <laughs> demo so no nope, I don't think this is a tool that one could logically use in a hand drill I think that's also wrong to mount on the um, on a drill press or even better if one has a real mill but anyway you can cut out slots if you had it set up properly found that interesting. I need some holes and dialed the starting and beginnings of the dial and, and then we did some counter sinking. So I hope that gives you a general idea of what kind of drill bits we can use for stuff and actually also the what, what a handheld drill is is mainly meant to drive. Um, in some instances you actually do need a drill press to, to work with certain tools. Anyway, um, yeah, if you want to join more of this excitement, um, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.